One important topic that we have to discuss, obviously, is keywords. What are keywords? Now, some people might have the misconception that a keyword is a single word. A keyword is not a single word. A keyword is any word or a group of words that would be involved in a search. So, you know, if we did a keyword that said, you know, best diet plans, that's a keyword. Just because it's called keyword doesn't mean that it's not one word. So it can be more than one word. There's a distinction also to make between short tail keywords and long tail keywords. A short tail keyword is a, a keyword that can be up to three words. So um, it can be pretty much anything that's up to three words. Over that, you have long tail keywords. So four words and more, up to 10, let's say, are long tail keywords. If you're going above 10, it's really superfluous, so it's unnecessary. But uh, our focus is going to be on those long tail keywords. But why are we going to focus on long tail keywords? Uh, there's a few reasons why we want to focus on long tail keywords. To, to, to summarize search, um, you know, obviously we want we know that Google is after relevancy, and something that's more relevant um, is going to be more appealing to them to show them at the top. So when it comes to long tail keywords, you can imagine that the longer the keyword, the more relevant it's going to be to search. So let's let's take for example, you know best car tires. If I type in best car tires, now I'm not I'm I'm not specifically in a buying cycle. I'm just looking for best car tires. I'm not being very very specific. Um, or if I just want to type in you know best tires, I'm also not being very specific. Um, this is what's called a short tail keyword. As you can see, Google has given me a few auto suggestions here. Um, they're trying to point out what some of the more popular searches are. Best tires for SUV, best tires for Prius, best tires for the money. Now, best tires for the money is, is a long tail keyword. It's a little bit more relevant, um, but we're going to go more relevant than that even. But, you know, first, let's understand that distinction between short tail keywords and long tail keywords. Um, we don't want to target short tail keywords um, because it's really not relevant. It's not going to apply to the buying cycle as much. Somebody who's searching for best tires is not going to be as relevant to somebody searching for best tires for um, 2014, you know, Mercedes, you know, E350, let's say, for example, or E350 Sport, as you can see here, or Formatic Wagon. This is a much more relevant search. We want to optimize for the relevant searches because that's how we're going to get the traffic. These long tail keywords are how we're going to approach SEO and how we're going to get you to rank high on Google SERPs quicker. It's not going to happen overnight, but then again, you know, nothing worthwhile ever will. But we're going to go after these long tail searches because if you think about it, if you're using a long tail keyword, you know, you're in that buying cycle. You're you're somebody who's searching for best tires for 2015 Mercedes E350 is much more ready to buy than somebody who's just searching for best tires or even, you know, best tires for the money, which is also a long tail keyword, but it's not as relevant. So we want to go after relevant long tail keywords. And that's going to be your quest in SEO is to solely focus on these. Um, and we're going to get into how we're going to optimize for um, for these long tail keywords but for now it's really really important to make that distinction um, now you know what we want to find out is what are the best keywords to use now and this is obviously going to come back to you know what business are you in what are you selling what are you peddling you know are they products is it services or is it information are you selling information it doesn't matter what you're selling um, you know, as long as you do do a long tail keyword approach that's highly relevant, then you're going to succeed no matter what. Um, you have to ensure that you meet all the other rules, um, you know, and, and don't try to game the system, so to speak. Um, but if you take this approach, then you're going to succeed in SEO, you know, as long as we uh, have the fundamentals in place of high quality content. Um, you know, good links from other authority sites, et cetera, et cetera. We'll get into all of that stuff later, but for now, I just want you to focus on these long tail keywords. You're going to want to find long tail keywords. So how are you going to do that? You know, a lot of people, you know, have a little bit of frustration with this process because they have difficulty brainstorming and coming up with good keywords. Um, 
again, this boils down to, you know, what business are you in? And, you know, I'm not sure what business you're in, but, you know, regardless of what business you're in, there are a few tools that you can use. Now, the one, as you saw me using here, obviously, is Google, you know, Google's auto suggestion. It's a great tool. You know, it's it's not the, the be it end all. I wanted to make a few points about Google's auto suggestion. Um, you know, before we before we move, move forward, I might want to search for, um, you know, best laptop, uh, let's say for college. And you can see here, it's giving me some auto suggestions, best laptop for college students, best laptop for college 2015, best laptop for college engineering, best laptop for college under 500. So these are all long tail keywords. So we're going to go after, you know, one of these. And what I wanted to point out about Google auto suggestion is that these aren't necessarily in any order. Now these aren't, you know, the most popular to the least popular search or least popular to the most popular search. Google randomizes these, you know, for a specific reason. It doesn't want you to know that much about its search, but what it wants to do is obviously this auto suggestion is, you know, a way to help help people get the answers that they're looking for quickly, but this is also a relevancy thing. So, you know, we have to look at the auto suggestion. It's a really really great tool to use. So, if you're searching and you're doing keyword research and brainstorming, this is one place to start. You know, start by typing out some some words, but focus on long tail keywords. You want to go after the longer keywords. It's going to be better, especially in the beginning. If you don't have that trust in age, and that's hugely important. Let's say you have a website that's kind of new. Google just found out about it, even if it's a year old or even if it's two years old. You know, you're in something called the sandbox. The Google sandbox is you know, a relatively new virtual playground where Google will put websites that are misbehaving or they're new. What does the sandbox do? The sandbox is going to filter out search results so that whatever you're doing, it's not having as much of an impact if you have more age and more trust with Google. So this is a pretty, pretty frustrating thing because people that are newcomers you know, ask questions like, you know, how come I can't rank and how come I'm not showing up at the top of search results? You know, I'm doing everything, you know, that I'm supposed to be doing, but you don't have the age and you don't have the age. It's really, really frustrating. So there are some ways to overcome it, but, but there are not a tremendous amount of strategies to overcome it. You have to focus on content marketing, leveraging authority sites, um, and a bunch of other things that can be done, but you're going to be limited by the the trust the trust in age so you know that there are some instructors out there that are telling you that you know you can get thousands of visitors overnight or in a week or something like that you know that's great for a website for example that has age and it's been uh, found in Google's index a few years back let's say three years back five years is great you know ten years is amazing you know but if you don't have that trust in age, it's going to be more difficult. So if you don't have the trust in age, what we're going to do is leverage authority sites. And we'll get into that a little bit later. But, you know, keep these things in mind moving forward. Uh, we have to forge value, build trust, etc. So 